The Ferrari 512S Modulo is a concept sports car designed by Paolo Martin of the Italian Carrozzeria Pininfarina, unveiled at the 1970 Geneva Motor Show. The Modulo originally started out as a Ferrari 512S. After testing, the engine and transmission were removed and the chassis was stripped down and given to Pininfarina to build a show car. The show car debuted at the 1970 Geneva Motor Show and was originally painted black but was later repainted in the white. The Modulo was well received by critics and has won 22 awards for its design. The Isetta is an Italian design microcar. Its egg shape and bubble-like windows, it became known as a bubble car, a name also given to other similar vehicles. In 1955, the BMW Isetta became the world's first mass production. It was the top-selling single-cylinder car in the world, with 161,728 units sold. The Stout Scarab is a 1930-1940s American car, designed by William Bushnell Stout and manufactured by Stout Engineering Laboratories and later by Stout Motor Car Company of Detroit, Michigan. The Stout Scarab is credited by some as the world's first production minivan, and a 1946 experimental prototype of the Scarab became the world's first car with a fiberglass body shell and air suspension. The Nissan S-Cargo is a small retro-styled van manufactured by the Japanese automaker Nissan from 1989 to 1991, and originally marketed solely in Japan at their Nissan Cherry stores. The exterior styling of the S Cargo was inspired by the Citroën 2 CV Fergonet delivery van, an interior styling borrowed a Citroën style single spoke steering wheel. The name was a double entendre, standing for small cargo, and sounding like escargo, the French word for snail, which in turn is a nickname for the Citroën 2 CV. The Messerschmitt KR200, or Cabian Roller, Cabin Scooter, is a three-wheeled bubble car designed by the aircraft engineer Fritz Fend and produced in the factory of the German aircraft manufacturer Messerschmitt from 1955 to 1964. Messerschmitt, temporarily not allowed to manufacture aircraft, had turned its resources to making other products. In 1952, Fend approached Messerschmitt with the idea of manufacturing small motor vehicles. These were based on a Sven Flitzer invalid carriage. The PLP-50 is a three-wheeled microcar originally made from 1962 to 1965 by the Peel Engineering Company on the Isle of Man. It was listed in the 2010 Guinness World Records as the smallest production car ever made. The original model has no reverse gear, but a handle at the rear allows the very lightweight car to be maneuvered physically when required. Designed as a city car, it was advertised in the 1960s as capable of seating one adult and a shopping bag. The vehicle's only door was on its left side and equipment included a single windscreen wiper and one headlight. The Amphicar Model 770 is an amphibious automobile which was launched at the 1961 New York Auto Show, manufactured in West Germany and marketed from 1961 to 1968. Production stopped in 1965. Designed by Hans Trippel, the amphibious vehicle was manufactured by the Quan Group at Lübeck and at Berlin Borsigwald, with a total of 3,878 manufactured in a single generation. The Bond Bug is a small British two-seat, three-wheeled automobile which was designed by Tom Caron of Ogle Design for Reliant Motor Company, who built it from 1970 to 1974, initially at Bond Cars Limited Factory but subsequently at Reliance Tamworth Factory. It is a wedge-shaped microcar, with a lift-up canopy and side screens instead of conventional doors. The Davis Devan is a three-wheeled convertible built by the Davis Motor Car Company between 1947 and 1949. The brainchild of used car salesman Glenn Gordon Gary Davis, it was largely based upon the Californian, a custom three-wheel roadster built by future Indianapolis 500 racing car designer Frank Curtis for Southern Californian millionaire and racer Joel Thorne. 
After building two prototypes in 1947, Davis embarked on an aggressive publicity and promotional campaign for the car, which included numerous magazine appearances, a lavish public unveiling at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles. The General Motors Firebird comprises a quartet of prototype cars that General Motors, GM, engineered for the 1953, 1956, and 1959 Motorama Auto Shows. The car's designers, headed by Harley Earl, took Earl's inspiration from the innovations in fighter aircraft design at the time. General Motors never intended the cars for production but rather to showcase the extremes in technology and design that the company was able to achieve. The cars recently joined the display at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan, and still make regular car show appearances. The tradition of offering prototype vehicles continued with the Pontiac Banshee series. From 1967 to 2002, the Pontiac division of GM marketed its Firebird line of pony cars that had no direct relation to these series of Firebird concept cars.